Hello everyone and welcome back to Gamer Hacks channel. So today's video will be only about tier 1 and tier 2 guide because on tier 3 I will make completely a different guide because you know tier 3 will get multiple stuff uh, away from tier 1 and tier 2 that's why I will make it in a different video. So let's start with tier 1, tier 2. Firstly guys you need to know that the stats here are really important. So normally sorceress is focused on two stats is either crit or speciality this is in case if you are building igniter and for me i prefer igniter if you are building the other one which is the other class engraving you can access the class engraving from here from engraving effect here then go to class bonus you will notice that there is actually another one which is reflux and this one um actually if you use this one you will no longer be able to use that so uh, let me show you now, I will go to uh, engraving here, then I will just click on here and uh, choose reflux, then here, then go. You will notice that actually my engraving changed it to reflux and I cannot, I no longer use my Z, uh, my Z, that's why it's useless to have a speciality anymore. Because if you read the speciality, you will notice that actually a speciality increases the elemental uh, damage efficiency by whatever 195 or 200 percent or whatever and this only happen while you are using this one if you are not using this one this effect will the of the speciality effect will never happen that's why it's useless while you are using the other class engraving so if you are playing sorceress igniter just like me and i prefer this one because it has uh, a press damage like you get high damage at a certain point then after that you will get a normal damage the other, the other build though is a steady uh, damage, so you get the same damage uh, whenever you attack. So anyways, this is my build, and for me, at tier 1, I prefer to build the engraving of all, all out attacks, Igniter. I will try to get Igniter level 2 as well, if you can. Or at least, I will maybe try to get it level 3. Why I am building all out of attack? So, let me first disable all out attack. Let me go to here, engraving, and just disable, get igniter maybe level 3, and that's it, then I will press go. So as you can see, I don't have all out attack, and also I need to do other stuff here, which is disable these runes, because I need also to explain these later. So now I don't have all out attack. So what will happen, I will cast maybe this meteor, let's see. It takes 2 seconds to cast the Meteor and 2.3 seconds to, to, to cast this Fire Pole, which is really, really slow. Uh, that's why I do really like the idea, especially in Tier 1, because the, some bosses move really fast and while you are using your slow skills, the boss will try to hit you. So, oh, I need to dodge. I will, I will move faster. That's why you will not be able to use most of your skills and this will lower your damage by a lot. That's why when I use this engraving, this one, all out attack, notice the difference now. It's 1.9 seconds. It's reduced by 0.4 seconds. By the way, this is a lot in fight. And this one will be only 1.7. And this is not everything, actually. I also use reunes. And these reunes, by the way, can getting from killing guardians. Like this one can be getting from killing guardians. Or oh, the other reunes also can be getting from killing guardians. So, uh, I go to the, the lowest one, and the slowest one is actually this one. This is the slowest, like this one casting time is only 1.9, this 1.9, and this one is 2.3. So, I go to Fire Pole here, and I add the skill casting speed plus 12%, and they do, I, press, I press on Equip. Equip, equip sorry. <laughs> then, after that, I go for this one. Then it's spell casting speed. This one I need it faster. So I think I have another skill casting speed. Yeah, I go to here, skill casting speed. And the last one I have here, I will also go to skill casting speed. And I will equip all three. And normally, this one I will also add another rune. It's called blading effect. And I will equip this one. If you have yeah, the blading effect, this will be a really nice rune, by the way. So, uh, as you can see, I tested it before, it was 2.3 seconds, now let's test it, 1.7 seconds. So let's test the other one, 
1.6 seconds. By the way, you, you I think you noted the difference now. It's really fast. And that's not it. If you are already have uh, a max, you know, thing and you want to use the, the Z uh, ability, you will press Z. So I become really, really fast. So I can use all my skills really fast. Oh, oh, it will be way faster as well before you are using the runes and the thing I was talking about. Then after that, I was talking about, I added the bleed rune. And if you notice, there's actually a bleed effect on the boss. So yeah, do you see? The bleed effect is really nice. Get some damage on the boss while you're bleeding him. It gets extra damage for free, so why not? And always use it for the longest skill. By the way, this skills. Uh, sorry, before I forgot, I need to talk about the skill tree in sorceress in general. So uh, the skill tree, there is uh, like when you click on any of these skills, you will notice that actually I choose these skills. So it depends on your gameplay or uh, the style of your gameplay, you will choose the skill tree. But believe me, this will be the best skill tree you will ever have. Just to choose it like me. This is all the Korean server build. They build it like that. You And you will understand later why I am using this skill tree. I, I know you might think, oh, my skill tree is better. Yes, sometimes better. But when it comes to higher passes, believe me, you will always need to change your skill tree to match the bosses uh, or the higher rate because the boss will be harder and you need to get higher damage. And normally we will deck the skill tree that give us the highest damage and also sometimes highest speed on the, on the skills because you don't really need to high cast time. High cast time means you are dead in most of the raid. That's why you need to do that. So for this one, uh, like normally you will read all the skill tree. Maybe you find something better. I'm not saying I'm the best builder. I'm not the best builder. You can find guides out there. Maybe someone building better than me. Uh, some people like the Q to be has this ch two charges. Like it can be used as two charges instead of only one. Uh, maybe I'm not, I'm not a fan of this. So I only build this one. It depends. Like this is your game style. But there is some essential skills you need to remember and you need to build it like that. Especially for these three skills. One, two, three. These three skills are the most important skill for Sorceress. And if you are not dealing good damage with these three skills, that's mean you are useless and you not really do any damage in the raid. Because these are the main skills. And you need to max all the three first. And you need to take care of these three skills at the beginning. So normally I go for uh, Doomsday as Igniter, the first skill. And by the way, if you have a big issue in mana, you can choose this one. But believe me, this issue with mana will be no longer happening in the future because there is items, uh, gear that you get here that will increase your mana. This, this one will not be a problem at all in tier 3. So normally we will take the high damage. And this one, of course, is the highest damage because it ignites the monster and deal more damage. This one is the skill distance. Uh, I think you already have enough distance. Like you see, I don't really need to increase it more. Uh, it doesn't really matter. So getting high damage will be always better. Uh, so for the other tripod, we always, as always, we cho choose the tripod or the skill tree that have more damage. Like as you can see, this one uh, damage plus 25%. So this one is way better. I know there's other things like you can think, oh, this one is better because it's plus 20, 40 seconds. But let's see what will happen if I change it, the meteor. Do you see the difference? Not cool. Because normally the bosses will, at, will move from, from their positions. So you might actually lose your damage instead of gaining more damage. I don't really like this one, so I'm not gonna use this tribot. And no one is actually using the tribot. People like the instant damage, which is this one. This one also make a flame area, but this one increases the damage by only 15%. And no, 25% more damage is much more important. Then we have these two skills. And believe me, you can choose either crit damage or... Uh, or the total uh, or the out damage will be increased by 55%. So, what do you think? Which which one is better? Crit damage 180% or 
uh, the damage of the basic damage of the skill will be increased by 55, then increased to 63 ATC. Uh, for me, if you have a really high crit rate, and I'm talking about really, really high crit rate, like if you have really high crit rate, this one will be perfect for you. This one will be really good, but normally you will not ha have this high crit rate because you are building crit speciality and you are focusing on speciality more than crit. So for me, I will choose the magic and the fire. So this is how it works. You, you need to lock into all the skills and think, do you have enough crit rate? So I will choose the crit damage because in this case, I will get much more damage than the crit head, uh, than the basic damage. It depends. So you need to think before you actually choose which tribute you can. And also you can try both tribute, like uh, maybe I will choose this one. So I will I will come to here, this boss, and try it. 300k. So let's say I choose the other one. I will also try it on the same boss and let's see. 200k. That's because the, the skill didn't crit. So in this case, if it didn't crit, the damage of the other one will be always higher than the crit damage because crit damage is useless if the if your if your uh, skill didn't crit. But let's try it again and hopefully it crit this time. Okay, let me just increase my my crit rate so make it max. Just just as just as a test. I'm not really having this amount of crit rate. Like I'm using my crit rate max. So I will use it. Oh, I did, it didn't crit as well, even with max crit. <laughs> okay, so 700 damage with this skill if I, if I shoot this tripod. And then now I will shoot the other tripod and let's test it. Okay, 300 damage, it didn't crit. Okay, almost the same amount of damage. Do you see? Wait. Oh. Oh, it never crits. <laughs> Come on, crit, please. Oh, God, this video will be so long for... Come on! Okay, so this one is 689. I think you, you noticed the difference. The other one is kind of higher by maybe 100k or less. This one is less by 100k, but if it didn't crit, this one will be always better the other one sorry the other skill tree so you need a ways to pick the one that is perfect for you so i always choose the one that other people tried like that's why i said in the previous video you need to check the other people built and test it here in this area this area can be accessed from uh sorry i need to finish training so i can show you how to access it and you need also to take into account this gear guys because this gear makes a huge difference for you and normally I would choose the gear that give you higher damage, not higher crit damage or higher crit chance because Sorcerer doesn't have really a higher crit chance. So you might think, why did I choose the crit damage one? Because the only thing I care about is actually the set bonus number one, which is the combat resources recovery speed by 30%. That's mean I get this part here faster by 30%. That's why I choose this set over the other set. Because I need to get to get this part faster so I can press Z and get more damage. Also, do you see the fast of that tax? So that's why I choose this one always. I choose this one to give me the combat resources faster. But this one, of course, will be changed once you reach tier 3. And I will talk about this later in tier 3. So this is the first thing you also need to take care of in, if your skins. Some people think that in, uh, skins are useless. No, skins are not useless. Skins are really important, especially the legendary one. The legendary one are not in game yet, but legendary one will be added soon. And each skin, if you notice, it has intelligence plus one percent. So uh, let me see. This is the attack power. Do you see the number? Let me remove this. Do you see the difference? I know the difference is really small, but remember, this is the basic stats. So the basic stats actually can be multi multiplied by a lot by using the skills and the other stuff. So the basic stats are really important. So skins and the other stuff are really important too. If you got the legendary one, it gives you 2%. So 2% here, 2% here, 2% here, and 2% here. That's a lot of uh, intelligence. That's almost 8% uh, bonus 
uh, damage or bonus intelligence, which increase your basic attack power by a lot. This one is really important. The other thing which is really, really important as well, and people forget about it, is gems. Gems can be accessed in tier 2, and tier 2, starting from tier 2, it's important to have gems. I know tier 2 is not the most important because you can fast run tier 2. Um, I know you might stuck maybe a week or two, but after that you will move to tier 3. So starting from tier 3, gems will be really, really important, and people will not accept you in party if you have a bad gems. So normally if you are uh, building the gems for the first time, you need to focus on the main attacks in your character. So for me as a sorceress, as I said, the, the damage comes from three skills. One, two, three. These skills also get damage, but not like these three. These three are the most important and the highest damage. That's why when I build my gems, I will try to focus on getting these uh, skills and normally you don't have to get gems level 7 or level 8 or level 9 in tier 2 tier 2 is not really that hard you only stay here for maybe a few days or as i said maybe a few weeks so you can only get few, uh, tier uh, level 5 gems level 5 gems will be uh, really enough and by the way you can increase the level of the gems by pressing here and press fused and you need three gems of the same level so you can fuse them and get the other one or you can also use the auto fuse uh, thing you can press here so i i choose uh, level five because i need level five gems and press uh, tier two if i need tier three i will do the same then i will just press apply that's it so it once i get any gems it will convert it directly into tier three so this is how gems works the gems you have two types of gems the one that increase your damage and them and the other one is to increase your cooldown reduction and you might think cooldown reduction is not important but no cooldown reduction is important just like damage exactly some people think oh i need damage i don't need cooldown reduction no you will need both so at the beginning try to focus on getting gems for the three main attacks this one this one this one i already have this one which is the main attack for me this is the highest damage skill in into my uh into sorceress then i have this one and i have these two and that's really enough i also have damage for some other skills but i don't really need them that much so uh this is how it works for gems now let's talk about the final thing it's how to get the best combo for sorceress you might think, that, oh yeah, there's actually a best combo for sorcerers. Let me uh, show you guys inside the training. Uh, let me spawn the boss. This is the best combo for sorcerers. And actually, the, to get the combo, you need actually to get uh, a cooldown reduction gems on this one. So if you didn't get a cooldown reduction gem, you will not be able to do the combo correctly. So let's, let's show you how it's done. Uh, firstly, guys, I need to uh, recover resources. So yeah. The best combo is actually happening when you also have Igniter because Igniter will help you a lot. So normally try to get Igniter level 3 with the all out of attack. So the combo starts by using my, my Doomsday. Then I press that really fast. Then I use my Q. Then I use this one. This one. Then I use any normal skill. And waiting for this one to come again, so I can use it more, one more time. Oh, sadly. Did you see, actually, this one got out before the Meteor hit the boss. That's why the Meteor will be reduced damage. That's why normally you need also to get higher cooldown reduction gems. So if you got maybe 17%, you will be able to done it and done the the combo correctly of the of the of the sources so you can actually done two meteors but remember you cannot actually um hit the meteor in the in the second one because it will be completely random because the bus will will moving it will not stand still like this one so once you you do like let me recover it again let, let's say i use this one then i press that then i the boss wasn't mo really moving then the boss will start moving. So you need to follow the boss and try to hit the last meteor. The last meteor will be the last, the hardest one to hit. Because you need to use it, even if the boss have any mechanics. So I need to use it. Maybe the boss here, I will use just here. So this is how it works. This is the combo of sorceress. 
But as I said, to do the combo correctly, you still need to get higher cooldown reduction. I have only 10%. I need at least, I think, maybe 14% or something to be able to get the combo perfectly. And of course, the highest cooldown reduction, you can go up to 20%. Uh, better the combo will be because you will have higher chance to do uh, the combo without even without the boss actually uh, you know if the moves he can you can hit him with that uh, meteor so this is how it works and uh, oh before I forgot why we are using Q why after after maybe using any after using the meteor I still use to use Q why I'm using Q because Q actually increases your damage by six percent so the six percent is not bad that's why I'm using Q uh before or after directly using the meteor also i can use it before using the meteor it's up to you like like i can you do that Wait, let me start i can do that i can do this then meteor then press Z. anyway the six damage will be staying because actually as i said you have this one and this one stays for so long on the ground the fire and everything that's why i still have the seven percent debuff damage on the boss for so long so i will be able to use all the three skills while the boss have this debuff that's all for today let me guys let me guys know if, if you want to ask about anything in the comments and they will try to answer you and hopefully this video helps you as much as possible and they will make another video in tier 3 and the tier 3 will be much bigger video and will be much much better video than this one Thanks a lot guys for being watching and see you guys in the next one. Bye!